Six hydraulic columns go full throttle, unleashing a staggering 6,000 tons of pressure to crush and compress splintered bamboo strips into dense blocks. These blocks are then transformed into reconstituted bamboo flooring, the type often seen in parks. It's a perfect example of how, with enough pressure, even scraps can be turned into something valuable. This is the incredible cold pressing process. And where there's cold, there's hot. Compared to cold pressing, the hot pressing method is on a whole other level. Though both use the same raw bamboo material, the end quality is vastly different. First, the bamboo is split into strips and de-skinned. Then it's steamed in high-temperature furnaces for three hours to remove fungi and sugars from inside the bamboo. Next, the strips are coated with adhesive and evenly laid onto the hot press machine. There are various types of hot press machines, each with a different number of heated plates. Once the hydraulic press is activated, it pushes the plates down to compress the bamboo strips with a pressure of up to 2,500 tons. At the same time, the plates heat up to 180 degrees Celsius, continuously melting the glue. This combination of high heat and pressure bonds the bamboo tightly together, producing flooring that's not only tough, but also highly moisture resistant. In contrast, the cold pressing method relies solely on pressure, with the glue being melted only at the very end of the process. This often results in uneven density between the surface and the core of the board. When used outdoors, these boards are prone to warping, moisture absorption, and even mold. So, aside from being cheaper, cold pressing doesn't offer many advantages. Now you know the difference. Pretty fascinating.